if ITV get their next moves wrong, you've talked about Carolyn McCall and her being exposed as the CEO and whether she could stay. You, I, I mean, you know, again, you don't want to draw false comparisons, but you look at the CBI at the moment where they didn't take the right moves. And people are saying, right, this institution is bust. You know, the CBI ain't coming back from this. Um, is there a possibility that ITV has to reform itself, go through a news of the world moment, that the brand becomes so damaged that ITV is in under threat itself? I, I don't think it will spiral to that extent. I think we're sort of dealing with quite different allegations. Uh, I mean, clearly there are serious questions for Philip Schofield and the way that he handled this and his his conduct in this matter but we're not talking about uh sexual you know sexual abuse or sexual misconduct they both said that the relationship was consent uh was was consensual and um you know le legal as this phrase you know unwise but legal uh this phrase which has become a bit of a meme in recent days um so i think we're talking about allegations of a slightly different nature i also feel like there's also a bit of a personal grudge issue going on here as well. You know, Eamon Holmes's interview on GB News was, you know, kind of extraordinary, and it feels like there's a there's a very bad relationship between him him and Philip Schofield, and therefore some of this is sort of colouring and shaping the allegations that we're hearing. I suppose my other question to you, and it's a more general question, because you have covered the media landscape for. A, a very long time. Is there something about media organisations where you have a golden goose that's laying the golden egg and you just think, I don't want to know about bad behaviour because they are making so much money for the company. I, I don't want to hear, I don't want to see, see no evil, speak no evil, you know, hear no evil. Yeah, I think these these cases are very difficult for big broadcasters um and this morning is a is a is probably a really good example uh i've been reporting on another case at channel four recently uh dick and angel strawbridge who are big stars for the channel they uh present a show called escape to the chateau and uh they've been accused of bullying and harassing their production crew uh, i obtained a recording of angel strawbridge being abusive to a producer and channel four has cut ties with both of them um on the back of uh an independent review uh, but it took the best part of you know three or four years for channel four to get to that point and they ignored warnings from the production company during that process the news agents this is a global player original podcast